I am a man that is on a mission. Hello there everybody, it's Saban and Nightmare, and welcome back to Golden Sun. I'm actually recording this on the day that part 12 actually goes live. So I really haven't actually had time to go over um, some comments, so actually I'll just go over one right now. By uh, Carlos. Fun fact, if you pick specific passengers in the right order, you can go to Crossbone Isle early, which is where the game's optional endgame dungeon is. It can't be the dungeon now, obviously, but you could get some of the early floor rewards. Of course, too late now. As for the Venus Genie, you saw at port now that you got off the ship, follow the coast back around to the first port to enter from behind at the to get the Genie. I had a feeling that's how I was going to get it, so thank you very much for that clarification, Carlos. Anyway, last episode, as stated, we glor we we sailed across the I was gonna say seven seas, but then I remember this isn't Earth. This is like a different area. Huh. Anyway, we sailed across the ocean, and now we are finally where we need to be. You're looking for a Sean and Or- Oh, right, what voice I give you? You're looking for a Sean and Ornos? They left for told me with that tour. I figured they're headed for Colosso. Figured. I want Sean and Ornos to do well at Colosso this year. But they don't stand a chance if Isaac enters the contest. Well, wow, thanks for having so much faith in me. Highly appreciate it. I'm gonna go say bye to the captain real quick. Sup, buddy? When the waters are this dangerous, you just can't take to the seas. I think I'll check out Colossal while we think about what to do next. See? Our ship survived an attack and crossed the sea safely. It just proves how effective that lucky anchor really is. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Captain. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Nice group that came on our last voyage pulled some strange stunts. Actually, I was sort of spying on them. Really? Or what happened to that strange group that went on to Toby? Hmm. Are you headed for Colosso? Yeah. I thought so. Most people coming at this time of year usually are. There was this group of six we ferried across a while back. Now they were strange. A group of six. Oh, I know who those. I wait. Sick. I'm just gonna hang out and totally enjoy myself for a while. This is such a weird. That is such a weird thing. Okay, nobody is hiding out here. That's good. Just want to make sure that nobody was hiding. Hmm? Oh, hey. Are you not going anywhere? Huh. I'm guessing all the ores are still down here. Yeah, they are. Folks really fought well. I'm just glad the Kraken didn't hurt me. You're very lucky. I don't think anybody will be crossing the Caragol for a while. The oarsmen won't work for us anymore. We can't find anyone to replace our old oarsmen. Re wait, really? They, they all quit? A lot of oarsmen were injured on this voyage. Nobody's gonna want to row until things calm down the Caragol Sea. Sure, the pay is good, but it doesn't mean a thing if you get hurt on the job. We don't even have dental. Are we safe? It's all because you defeated those monsters. Isaac and his pals were so daring fighting back there. We got some fans. I've been an orders my whole life, but this last job was the water staver. I feel better now. I was just scared. I was just so scared when I was rowing. Why, you fear you were going to be the next one that was going to get knocked out? This might be the last time I get on a ship. You go on ahead. Just take your stuff when it looked like everything was alright. My back went out, now I can't move. Uh Good luck! Tolby Docks. I hear you had a scary trip. You even got attacked by a monster? What why the sea is so dangerous all of a sudden? Guess we won't be seeing anyone back home in Angara for a while. Nope, say goodbye to your, all of your friends. Oh, hello. Oh, wrong one. I got 35 coin. I got 35 coin, why can't I English? <sighs> I think we're done sailing for a while. We've already lost one ship, what else can we do? I think that missing ship must have run into the Kraken. You know? 
theoretically, actually shit, no, that actually makes a lot of sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. A lot of lives are probably lost. Oh well. Silk Road was blocked so I thought my parents might come by ship. I don't see them anywhere though. Your parents are probably dead. What's that? You have a message from- Oh right, right, you're the one I have to deliver the message from. Right, you're pa I forgot, she's on the other side. You messaged me from my parents? Yes. Oh, they couldn't make it because the tickets were too expensive? Uh, thank you for letting me know. I almost destroyed this poor girl's family by saying that they were probably dead. It was a hard crossing, very risky. I'm glad they didn't come. The tourists look a little upset. Did they get seasick? <laughs> you might say the seafood didn't really agree with them. See, it was calm, but that monster sure gave them a rough ride. After seeing the looks on the passengers' faces, I don't feel like waiting for my ship anymore. It's been quite some time since the Colossal Tour passengers left for Toby. Really? We just got here. You crossed sea just for Colosso? That was a big undertaking. If you're going to Toby, keep heading west. It's it's not too far. I get the feeling that it will be a long time before the next sea crossing. Maybe. What's in here? <gasps> People! I'm sorry, but we can't sell any tickets right now. The sea is too dangerous, so, so we've had to cancel all crossings. Man, some people are gonna be real upset. They're gonna probably be begging for refunds. <sighs> we could have made lots of money on those tickets. Bad luck, I guess. I got some spare coin I can give you. We rented out our house. If the ship won't sail, where will we sleep? There's boxes over there. Are we supposed to sleep on the floor until they set sail again? No, I said there's boxes over there. We rented out our house for Colosso, and now the ship's not launching. If the ship isn't crossing, we can't take our trip. Maybe we'll stay here until the ship leaves. Oops. They don't appear to- Ah! Me want read book, but they don't let me read book. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. do some rearranging. Isaac's already got a shit ton of healing items, so I'll just go ahead and give this to the other person, aka Ivan, who has the healing potion. On top of that, I think I'll go ahead and give... Holy shit! Uh, I'm just gonna give all of my nuts to... <laughs> I'm fucking juvenile. Here, Garrett, take my nuts. What? You wanna run that by me again, Isaac? Nope. Okay. <sighs> Alright. So, kind of a shame that I can't really circle around here, but if I wanted to get the gene that's over there, I have to kind of take a long way back over to the k docks. Uh, that shouldn't take me too long. I'm gonna go try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... No mage! There we go. I don't know if it's gonna be an actual fight, but just to be safe. Sup? Okay, good news, it was not a fight. Much 
better. So it immediately went over to Garrett, because, okay, so again, I'm missing like one fire genie. However, I have been informed that there is another overworld genie, so thank you for that glitch. I just now gotta search for it. Use gravity to hold a foe? Well, that seems useful. You know, I was just wandering around. I was like, all right, you know what? I, I'm gonna go look for like one of those little areas that they tend to have over like the, the, the little islands. I was gonna see if there's anything near Tolby. No, it, it's just, I, I, <clears throat> all right. Let's uh, it's a Mercury Genie too. Okay, cool. Sounds like a plan. All I gotta do is make sure that I knock it out before it can do anything. Ow! Good. Fall asleep. That gives us a chance to just wail on ya. Not gonna be happy about it, but we're gonna use some genies against you. Sorry. Okay, good. You're still awake. Ragnarok, or you're? I'm sorry, you. You know, I don't think you'll fall asleep, but I gotta at least try. Yes. See, I was like right here. I, was, I just barely took any steps away from the hole. Mercury Genie Hale joined me up. So, she's now got five. Everybody's got five. At least until I find another fire genie for, um, Garrett. All right, let's actually see. What is, what are her current things? Nothing really changed at all, actually. It's just that her stats did go up a little bit. That's good. All right, um, well, now that we got, that was weird, I don't know why I might care stop there, but... Anyway, let's, uh, finally go to Tolby. Don't go into any random... Damn you! I did not want to do a random encounter, especially against a mad mole and a foul burge. Oh, right. Oh, right, I forgot. Because he's got an Earth thing, his moveset changed. I mean, he still has fire? Wait, planet di Planet Diver? I need to see that! Why does that scream Garrett so fucking much? That, that, dear lord, that just fits. All right. All right, let's see what this whole, uh, Tolby, or this colossal in Tolby is. Ah, she said the money was for both of us. It's a festival, it's a colossal festival. Why do I buy with all the money Mama gave me? I can't decide. Oh, you spoiled brat. I'm the oldest, so I shouldn't have to share my allowance. Your sister's gonna hate you for the rest of your life, just gonna say that. Mama tells us to share the money, doesn't my brother remember? Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna test your luck at Toby Spring? Oh, this is the thing Glitch warned me about. This was the thing Glitch warned me about. Not yet. 
Oh, you don't? Well, I'm just gonna keep trying for a while. Face away from Tolby Spring and toss a coin into it. If you get lucky, something good will happen. If you toss a lucky co metal and you get really lucky, you'll get a better prize than you would with a coin. Okay, so let's give it a try. Really? Well, then I'll give you the chance to go first. What? for the water of life. Let me try again. The fuck is that? Guardian am armlet. I will reset for this, by the way, just because I'm way too curious. Really? What? Toby's always really bustling during Colosso. This festival only happens once a year, so I'm really excited. Terrace aren't the only ones who love Colosso. It's the best! Babby was already a pretty old back at the time I was born. I'm 65 years old now, so just imagine how old Babby must be. Every year I get older and older, while Babby just stays the same. Ah, then they're cheating life by being immortal. Colossus home the Col Colosseum in the heart of Tulby. If we don't go right now, we won't go get good seats. That won't be any fun. The trials are starting at the Colosseum today. If you win there, you advance to the final. Oh. Rats! We overslept and now the Colosseum is full. There's nothing we can do, so we've just been to wandering around Tulby. I can't say anything because it sounds bad. But I suddenly got too scared to watch Colossus, so I overslept on purpose. <laughs> of course you did. Oh boy, I wonder what kind of stuff they sell here. Welcome! Could you repair something for me, please? I see. What can I repair for you? Uh, the healing ring, please. Then I'll take it. The repairs are done. Here you go! Thank you! My 
Thanks, ma'am. Are you looking for rarities? This is the best I have to offer. What would you like? Just a water for a water of life for like 3,000 coins. Uh, I'm gonna see what else you got first, ma'am. Thank you. Actually, you know what? Let me sell some stuff so that way I can free up some inventory space. I'm not using the smoke bomb, so why would I just have it anyway? Sell the chain mail since I don't need it anymore. Keep it the lucky metal. I think that'll be a good investment. These two definitely have plenty of... Oh, wait, yeah, we can go ahead and sell the uh, heavy armor now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, ma'am, what do you sell? Herbs, nuts, poison, or antidotes, elixirs, and sacred feathers for reducing enemy... I have still not really felt the need to use those yet. The enemy encounter rate is actually kind of forgiving in comparison. They have some nice things for sale on Toby, so go shopping. Thanks, ma'am. Come in, what do you got? Uh, what are your artifacts? Must be a connoisseur. Elven rapier, bandit sword, magic rod, witch's wand, and angelic onk. Unleashes life leech. 6,400 coins? How good is it? Oh! Woo! That is, uh... Okay, that's admittedly a tough choice. Like, I like the Synergy Rod because it has a chance of draining uh, Synergy Points, but it doesn't seem like it's very effective because there's a lot of enemies that just don't have it. Life Leech would keep me alive a little bit longer, so maybe that'd be a bit better? Fuck it. Probably some people screaming at me for doing that. And besides, if I ever want it back, I can always come back here and buy it. So it's okay. Oh, what else you got? Great sword, master rapier, great axe, and war mace. Okay, um, let's get the rapier. Holy shit! A farewell, Arctic Blade. I like you, but damn! How good is the great sword? A whole five points higher. Great Axe? Better than the Vulcan Axe, at least a little bit. What about the Mace? Again, very good, but... Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll save our... I'll save one. Uh, what else you guys sell? What kind of armor you got? Armored Shell, Silver Vest, Jerkin... Night, well, at least not in public. Night Shield, Gauntlets, Heavy Armlet, uh, Steel Helm, Mail cap and guardian circlet. Man, this stuff is expensive, but I mean, at least I'm able to sell stuff back to get at least some coinage. See? I buy two, and I basically ended up buying one and got my money back for at least one, so it kind of works out. Yeah, we're keeping that spirit armor. That That's. Oh, holy sh... Well, I mean, it reduces elemental damage, so I guess it's not too bad. I am slowly kind of realizing something. Yeah, that spirit armor is still legitimately good. My attack goes down, but my defense goes up by one point. Keep that dragon shield. All right, um, I think this is good for the most part, I think. Well, actually, a solid 10 points. Of defense. You know what? I think we're fine. I think we'll be fine. Thanks, sir. Anything I can steal from you guys? What? Nothing. Bye! We got on the second floor here. This is, like, this is one thing that I'm actually really enjoying about this game. There's just so much to explore. Oh, hello. <gasps> Lucky metal. I heard Babby is using the money he made to build the lighthouse in Gondawan. 
calls it Babby Lighthouse. Naming the lighthouse he built after himself is a little vain, don't you think? Yeah, I know. It's like naming a tower after yourself. We're gonna make some money on Colossal, but of course, Babby always makes the most. He just takes a cut of all the money we earn. That's that's how to make money. Uh, I mean, if that's how you feel, if you feel comfortable with that, then. I've decided not to fight Colossal after all. Have you seen the contestants? They're huge! Huge as in... Nothing? I really want to see Colossal too, but the Coliseum gets too crowded, so I'm just going to watch the finals. I was stubborn, I said. I'm not going to see any of the tryouts! But now I wish I'd gone. I want to see Colossal, but no one will take me! I keep on crying, but Daddy still won't take me to Colossal. My only method of trying to make my parents listen to me is failing miserably. What the hell? Do you want to stay with us? The lady, I literally just walked in here. Sure. Actually, I'm sorry, but we're already full, and I don't have room for you. <laughs> then why did you ask me? It's too late to start looking now. They'll never find a place to stay. People finding a colossal stay at Babby's Palace. Eh, Tolby's packed with tourists during Colossal, so the inns are all full. Me? I just lines the beds and presto, I'm an innkeeper. I don't you think don't you need a license for that? Once Colossal starts, we're gonna make so much money, I love this. D I, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have a license for that sort of thing, but actually maybe that doesn't apply in this world. Grabs a Colosseum maybe for sick, so I came back. Uh-huh. Crowds are definite no-no. Say, why wasn't Toby's ruler Babby or whatever her name his name is there? Probably because he's dead. I couldn't sleep at all last night. The guy next to me snored the whole time. I'm so tired, I'm just not ready for Colosso. If I could have slept last night, I would have had a great time at Colosso. Sorry, bud. Not much you can do about that. Now, how do I get down there? I should be Okay, there's probably a method. Actually, Sir! Sir! I gotta get in there! <gasps> yes! Alright. Growth! Alright. Frost. Alright. Here. Be careful not to leave the actual town. I have to do it all over. Okay. So there's the end. <gasps> Fire Genie! Fire Genie! Margini Ember joined Isaac. Restore party PP with passions. Fl oh my god! Ooh, that is good. Oh my god, look how many genies I've got. Or genies, sorry. I, I'm, I'm so used to calling them genies, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're pronounced genies, but... Wow! I've got so many! We're fully booked with Ghost Race and Dirt Colossal! We're gonna have to find a hard time finding a place to stay now! Tour group is feeling cramped up in their quarters. Maybe we should bail the bigger in for next year. You probably should, pal. I'm not very interested in Colossal, it's so barbaric. We aren't going to see any of the Colossal this year. We'll have to start cooking our guests' dinner first thing in the morning. The innkeeper told me to cook a gourmet meal, but he's asking the impossible. Just making enough food for so many guests is a big job unto itself. Yeah, especially if you're by yourself. Like, you have to make a me like, a, like, colossal meal just for enough people by yourself with no help, I'm assuming? I had it just thinking about how busy these guests will make me. Yeah. Try working at a hotel. Now try working at a hotel for almost 10 years and you'll understand a, fra a fraction of my pain. 
We're so busy running the end, we can't go to Colossal. It's so boring. I'm going to go to Colossal Finals, no matter what. Colossal is the busiest time of year in Toby. In fact, you should make reservations now for next year's Colossal. We can't handle too many more guests than this. Uh, there's not much you can do about that, ma'am. Sorry. A tour guide came to the Cali this year. They only, reserve, they only reserved like two rooms, but they have so many people in them. Well, yeah, because they got to keep an eye on their prisoners and hostages. That's for the tour group from Kayla. Where will they sleep? Jeez. Get out of my way. Hey! Oh no. We barely made it at Toby. Even now we can't we can't even enter Colosso. Why do we even bother coming out to Toby? Even though I can't enter Colosso, I stayed at the inn thinking I'll go watch. I've come all this way, so I may as well see what I can. Well, if we'd gone here just a little earlier, we could have entered Colosso. If we could have entered Colosso, victory would have been ours. Sheesh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry that we didn't enter. Step right up and try your hand at Lucky Wheels. You have 29 game tickets, Isaac. Would you like to use those tickets? No, not right now. The rules are listed on the sign. Take a good, take a look, take a look. All right, hold up. This is probably gonna be another one of those things where I'm gonna have to play a guessing game or have save states. Let's see. Lucky Wheels rules. Pull the lever and try to line up matching icons to win big. You have only five chances to pull the lever. Press the star to keep a wheel from spinning and match other wheels. You get one line for one game ticket, three lines for two, Five lines for three, and seven lines for four. Use all your tickets on Lucky Wheels. Lucky Wheels prizes. Prizes are determined by which icons you match. Shirts win undershirts, rings win rings, boots win boots, stars and hearts win items, and moons can win you anything. Hmm. Step right up and enjoy yourself. Oh my god, it's a slot machine. I thought I escaped this shit whenever I stopped, whenever... I thought the last time I would ever have to deal with this bullshit was whenever I played freaking Pokemon Silver. And Gold. And Crystal. I can't escape the gambling, can I? Congratulations! You want a running shirt! Here you go! A running shirt? How good is it? Bo Whoa! Boost agility! Hey, that's. Wow, wow! It is actually good! Now I got myself a silk shirt. I, I don't know what what the, what is wrong with me. Another running shirt. That's good. Fuck. No. I'll save my tickets for right now. That's enough. I, I oh god, I'm gonna have oh god, I'm gonna get into the gambling addiction. We want to avoid that at all costs. I do not support gambling in any way. Ooh, item. Well, we paid good money to rent this house during the festival, so get out! No, I'm stealing your shit. We can just stay here until the others come back. Wow, Toby's festival is humongous. Just seeing all this is so exciting. Toby's not like Sean. It's very lively here. Oh, I think I think Sean was actually quite nice. I thought should have started already. What on earth is going on? I saw Babby's bodyguards wandering around. What's going to happen to our leader? You mean the supposedly immortal guy that's been alive for much longer than he's supposed to be? It's not like there have been any problems lately. 
I wonder what's happening to said babby soldiers in motion. Hello? I wonder if they really can't find Babby. If it is true, what'll happen to Colosso? Also, Babby's missing. It's strange that Babby's soldiers are hanging out all around town. Those bodyguards we saw are probably looking for Babby, right? Babby wasn't a Colossal, according to all the spectators. It's strange. Babby loves Colosso, but he's not the Coliseum. I wonder if that, what that boy says is true. Could the Babby be missing? Well, if he's not around, then yes, there's a possibility that he's not. But he's just missing. Like he was kidnapped or something. Held for ransom, maybe? Whoa, hi! Hey, I'm someone who looks like this. Oh, so that's what Babby looks like. Um, I'm sorry, no, I haven't. Where's Babby? He doesn't seem to be here. Uh, let's look over there. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. He wants me to go that way, but we gotta keep looking. Try out Star at the Coliseum today. I plan to go watch the finals. Trials are okay, but the finals are the real spelling Colosso. Get your snacks and drinks before you get into Coliseum! They're selling these at the Coliseum too, but they're cheaper here. Good. Be patient, little guy. I'll buy you better sweets than those later on. Why do kids want such awful stuff? I'm not ever buying that, no matter what! The stuff they're selling at the stalls along the street looks so tasty. If my kids buy some, I'd be able to eat too. Children really do love souvenirs, don't they? Well, I'd say they love more toys and sweets, but sure. I'll bet you like them too. Don't try to hide it, I used to love souvenirs. But the wife doesn't go in for that sort of thing. You can enjoy souvenirs at any rate. Oh, sweet smell crab, I'd love you buy me some! My. Get your colossal souvenirs, they'll make great gifts! Let's sell these two cloth souvenirs before colossal ends. I'll never make it back by my, my next payment! What the hell is this dice room? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Woo, getting triple digits is real tough! <laughs> Thank you, I'll help you win this game when I try to think about how to throw dice or lose. Maybe I think too much. Dear God, it's a gambling town. Yeah, that dice game looks kind of fun. If you can enjoy playing a game and win prizes, why not give it a try? I like playing lucky dice, but if I'm not careful, I'll spend all my money. Ah, it's one of those things you have to spend money for. Instead of lucky medals or that stuff, but... It's your first time to play a lucky dice? Yes. Once you start playing, you can't, don't want to stop. There's no other game in all the lanes that's so it's much fun. Sometimes people who never play lucky dice win the most. They call that beginner's luck. I've never really, I've actually never gambled in my entire life, honestly. I don't want to stop playing lucky dice, but I can't spend anymore. I've already sold my wife, my son, and children, and my other wife, by the way. We had a very strange relationship, but I sold them all, and I still don't have enough. My luck has run out for today. I better quit playing. Lucky dice. Throw the dice on the table and try to get the same numbers. Prizes are based on the numbers rolled and where each die lands. The more numbers that match, the more you win. That seems simple enough. If two numbers match on either the dice or the table, it's called a pair, and you don't win or lose anything. Two pair doubles your money. Triple matches triple your money. Four of a kind is perfect, and you win five times your bet. Plus, if your dice come up perfect on the perfect bonus spot on the table, you win an even bigger bonus. Okay, so this is just a money multiplier. Hey, buddy. Wanna try your luck at the dice? It's 190 coins to play. 109? Well, actually, yeah, fuck it. Okay, then take the dice. Alright, let's give it a try. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah. Winnings, 190 coins. So I literally just got my money back. Ah. Nothing. Yeah. Again, 190 coins. This is evil. This is legit. 
Never mind, I uh, take back what I said. This is genius and I have no problems with it whatsoever. I keep breaking even! Alright, I'm done. You won't get any coins. Talk about lucky. Read the sign if you don't know the rules. The rules for lucky dice ain't all that hard. You can even learn them while you play. Win or lose in this pure luck, I ain't cheating nobody. I never accused you of cheating. I guess that's one way to earn money. Although, to be fair, I imagine doing random encounters is just probably more efficient. That's probably just a quick way to, well, I wouldn't say earn, but acquire money. Okay, you know what? I have a couple lucky medals. Depth's help. All right. Uh, <laughs> yes. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I, you know what, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say. I think I'm actually doing pretty good with these item drops. I think my luck is actually just kind of paying off, at least a little bit. What? Sure, why the hell not? I'll accept that. What is going on? Whoa! whoa. Alright, I'm leaving. I... I... I what? What? Whoa, 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 hold on. Assassin Blade unleashes mortal danger. You know what? Screw the axe. Equip this shit, Garrett. We're gonna sell your axe. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't need to save or reload or anything for that. My god! I just got really fucking lucky! I wanna sell some shit, old man! Here, take this mail cap. I don't need it. Here, take this Vulcan axe. I don't need it. I got me some good shit, bro. Bye. Wee. <laughs> oh. Oh, you know what? I'm on a. I'm, I'm on way too much of a high right now. I think this is probably a good place for me to just stop before I become way too cocky. All right. No major boss battles, mostly just walking around and getting some pure BS luck. Oh! Oh, that is so good! That is it. Thank you all very much for watching. I am going to probably ruin my diet with a nice cup of coffee. See you guys next time!